Well, I haven't posted anything about this project for a while, so it's definitely time for an update. Um, so this is the single board 6502 computer that I've been messing around with. Um, and um, as you can see, the board has expanded considerably since last time, which of course is a um, kind of nightmare of wiring and pretty messy uh, setup, but, uh, but certainly enough to make sure that some things are working. So as before, we have the 6502 processor here, um, a 32K RAM and a 32K ROM. Um, in the middle is lots of the clock circuit, the reset circuit, and some address decoding. And then the new stuff is over here, and these are I.O. chips. So over on this side, we have a 6551 um, asynchronous communication interface adapter. So that's basically for speaking RS-232 to a serial line, so I can connect a terminal and talk to it. Um, and this is a 6522 VIA, virtual interface adapter, which has a couple of parallel ports on it that can be used for input or output. Um, right now, it's um, outputting just a very simple um, little pattern to those LEDs, just again to show me that it's working. So really what I tried to do at first was add the 6551 so that I could start to talk to this from, um, my, from my laptop and use that as a terminal and start to, uh, start to um, write some interactive software for it. And the 6551 has been giving me a hard time. Everyone says it's very easy to use for some reason. I've been having a hard time. Some of that was because the board is a little dodgy. Um, some of it, I think, is USB stuff. I'm still figuring that out. But I decided in the meantime to put the 6522 in here, and especially so that I can use that for some debugging. So I can start to use the 6522 to give me some patterns on the lights that will tell me where my, um, how, uh, where my programs have been um, working and where they might have been going wrong, and perhaps that'll help me with the, the um, 6551 as well. So that's the state things are in just now. I'm pretty happy about having uh, gotten the very beginnings of some input output going on. Um, that sort of makes it feel a little more like a computer we might be able to do something with at some point.